Excessive heel compression markedly lowers the center of gravity and delays rollover. It can be observed best in the sagittal plane in early stance. The intact limb uses a modest knee flexion arc of 15 to 20 degrees to absorb the shock of floor contact and to smoothen the pathway of the center of mass. Some prosthetic feet rely on a compressible heel to do this. The time needed for adequate compression delays the drop of the forefoot to the floor. This perpetuates an unsteady heel-only source of support that requires increased active muscular control of the knee and hip to ensure weight-bearing stability. The illustration shows increased muscular activity of the lower gluteus maximus in terms of both timing and intensity for a typical transtibial amputee compared to non-amputee activity. This is true of all prosthetic feet, whether dynamic response or the relatively inert satch foot. A similar result is seen in quadriceps activity. Heel cushion compression delays the rate of initial tibial advancement, resulting in reduced knee flexion during the weight acceptance period. Excessive heel compression can be addressed by stiffening the heel cushion.